Hey, what's up you again guys? This is Paul from Harlequin's Code. I'm a web developer, programmer by profession. I'm from the Philippines but working here in Singapore as a software engineer. And uh, today, I uh, will walk through with you guys uh, on how to compress any single file using Go programming language or Golang. So stick around. Welcome back guys. Uh, this is our uh, compression file tutorial tutorial here in uh, Golang using Golang programming language as you can see from our previous uh, discussions about this uh, go copy um, earlier we have this uh, new command created uh, they call it uh, we call it the com dir command for our go copy uh, project and uh, this will be this this will compress the directory of any uh, or folder and its contents uh, and then now we need to add one more uh, command. Uh, we call it the com file. Uh, this one is a, uh, we will compress any specific single file using Golang programming language. Uh, as you can see, we don't see the new command yet. The com file we're about to create uh, about this uh, new command. So hold on for a while, guys. So in uh, Cobra. The single the to add a new command is uh, we copy the same structure here. We just copy, copy all, and then uh, still under the CMD folder. So we need to create a new command called for com, com file dot go. So I paste this. This is uh, remember guys. This is the what they call uh, how to register this uh, command new commands. So right now we don't need to be to make this duplicate make this as a unique uh, variable because they are sharing in, in uh, the same package called the package CMD so we want everything should be unique um, the, the what they call the variable here each command should have a unique uh, variable to declare okay so we just change all over here the compile so uh, to compress we call this uh, compress any single file this is just an information so we can enhance this later compress any single file so compile again to catch out our time so we just uh, uh, compile long description we, uh, we will enhance this later on to catch out our time again so as usual we need to have a uh, two arguments because every time we need to like for example issue this command go copy then uh, compile and then space again the source directory we always have this so the source directory which is uh, for example in our case is uh, a uh, then uh, what they call um, like uh, our we need to compress this uh, from from one of the samples here so a folder and then we try to compress any bigger file here so we can see the reduction of uh, uh, file size we will try to compress this index.html as a sample file okay so it's like this is the sample command we need to have the specific uh, file location file name and the complete path and then the directory which is uh, for example uh, we throw again into the b or if you don't have this uh, uh, directory yet uh, this command uh, this this code uh, will automatically create a new folder like this b is not existing it's not exist in our current directory or whatever you in your network or something it, as long that you have the right uh, permission uh, read write permission or uh yeah you have this then you can uh the code itself will uh, generate this uh, new folder will create a new folder for you so this is uh, basically our command guys for this uh, uh com file newly created command for our go copy uh, project here in uh, mahalkan's code so this is the ideal uh, command uh, syntax so right now we need also the same thing the source and the destination that we need to ask from the user itself the inputs 
so this is the argument starts with the array 0 and then up uh, then 1 always like this 0 and then 1 so uh, this one we don't need this uh, below yet and then uh, hold on guys So again guys, uh, I cut short our time, uh, we, earlier we timed this and then uh, uh, we need two arguments from the user, two, two inputs and then uh, we need to compress using the zip, the zip file format. This code is, uh, what do you call, this is from the source which is the argument zero, the source uh, file, uh, file path, this is the the, we need to extract the without the extension so this is without the extensions here then we throw this variable here the local variables and then we concatenate with the new uh, zip command so we need to use this zip file format uh, file compression uh, uh, technology uh, here in uh, golang this is these are all built in um, these are all built in from go so right now we need to add this extension that zip so normally we use zip for any like uh, for the purpose of you want to email this single file or you just compress that any single file uh, right now we need to add this uh, another code here this is from always remember guys this file part that from splash is uh, always remember this because we uh, this will, will leave have, uh, this will leave and uh, help us a lot uh, leave heavy heavy loads from uh, validating some some of the what do you call some of the uh, what do you call the file file directory uh, like uh, for example in windows we normally if the user input like uh, uh, like c and then a backslash and then the, the for source folder so it's like that but in uh, linux or in uh, linux based os systems uh, normally they will use another type like this so the slash all these things guys yeah, so so go itself will uh, uh, go itself will automatically convert for us if we if we use this uh, file file path from from splash so i guess this from splash from slash sorry is from slash so it will automatically detect and then it will convert automatically based on our uh, OS based on our OS when we build this go itself will automatically detect the users OS then we don't need to worry about uh, and detecting all these uh, these things for us this is very important uh, we, we can take note about this and in this zip file these are all combined uh, from here we combine all uh, this the source uh, what do you call the destination this is the destination directory here so because of the argument one so right now zip this and then uh, if the again we need to validate from from our one of our own uh, validators uh, we call it sakto and then if the file is exist uh exist in the what they call when you go to there if exists in the current uh, directory so we will not we will uh, what they call warn the user we don't want to proceed but it's up to you guys if you want but then you rename all these uh, file uh, this zip destination you need to add some unique uh, extra uh, characters or random numbers or random characters combination with the numbers it's up to you guys so or either uh, time 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 stamp then it will be unique but right now i don't allow for a while i don't allow but it's up to you guys you can remove this block of code here and then uh, as i told you just add something here concatenate uh, some uh, random characters to make it unique and then uh, right now uh, this uh, uh, this just an information here that we are starting the uh, the what you call starting the compress starting the compression for our single file and then uh, we put it on an array list of arrays these are all the files here although it's a single file but uh, we we use this 
as a array variable as you can see array strings then uh, we need to create the root folder first uh, if it is not exist the destination is from there that's why it will auto create for us if the user just anyhow uh, crawl to the non-existent uh, folder in a certain directory or in a, in a certain network then we will create uh, automatically for that user as long that the folder or directory this user executes has or have the something like uh, the, the what they call the permission the read write permission otherwise it will throw error here uh, during the creation uh, okay so again we need to use the copy uh, our own copy project uh, our own copy uh, what they call the package you can check this in our github by the republic github and then uh, com files so there is a com file to, com to compress uh, because this one requires as you can see there is are all the arguments there the destination is just a string and then the files it requires uh, an array of uh, strings because this one we can reuse these com files for any other purpose not just not just uh, any single file that we need to compress uh, that's why earlier I, I, I shared with you that the functions or packages are very useful because we don't need to repeat ourselves to code it again all the same thing that's why we can reuse any functions there okay so if any error it will throw here then it will not return there is uh, we block then we don't need uh, what do you call well we don't proceed here because we don't want to see this uh, message when there is some um, error or any critical errors there then we just log and then and inform to the user in a red text color so if the file is not uh, what do you call any os this one all golang's uh, own validation so these are all guys and then we can see here uh, it's done or something right now we need to uh, to ensure that uh, we need to go mode the uh, vendor again and then to collect all or update all necessary collections within our own uh, vendor folder and then we try to go build and then let's see what will happen guys okay successfully no error as you can see when we try there is uh, only com com the error and the help co available commands there I try to CLS and then the go copy okay now it's working guys but uh, the <laughs> the folder there is uh, same thing we need to change uh, this uh, what do you call oh I never say <laughs> sorry sorry I uh, need to go build uh, I don't know go build again okay so uh, I need to CLS go copy again hold on guys sorry guys because of this uh, comment <laughs> need to register that's why you need to ensure that variable should be the same on top guys now as you can see we'll try again now you can see the the com file is there compress any single file now we would like to use this com file go copy com file then uh, I need the source which is from a and then the index.html and then we throw it to c then b just for simplicity uh, we will head over to the this folder i i plan to uh, compress this index.html these are all the contents uh, right now it's 80 kb 80 kb file size we will try to compress this and then we throw the uh, b folder is not exist yet so we try to press now the compression start compressing now it's also done uh, then we can see that the, the B folder is there need to refresh okay the B is there now there is a index by default is the whatever the file name there that's why we uh, we put it the uh, index.zip so we all concatenated it we'll try to extract first here these are the parent folder from A and then the index is there here. we'll try to open again all the contents are the same notice also the 80 kb is there 
the compression file is uh, now is 15 kb so it really reduce uh, a lot uh, in terms of this so that's all for today guys so see you in my next uh, tutorial series here in uh, uh, Maharlikan's code